Hello, my name is Ben Dunn, and I am an actor. You might recognize me from such hit shows as Glee on the Fox Network, as Guy Who Pushes the Button at a football game, or on ABC Family's Greek as Guy Drunk at a Greek Frat Party, multiple episodes, or Spike TV's A Thousand Ways to Die as Guy Who Dies Laughing. But more than likely, you know me from the wildly successful internet series with almost a million views, almost. Well, combined over a million views. Boomers stay off as Oscar the Boomer. Hi. First of all, I've been asked to ask you to help. YouTube has recently let us get our own graphics on both the upper bar and the sidebar. So we're looking for fans who are graphic designers who uh, would like to donate some of their services. And you know what? We're going to sweeten the pot. Not only will you get the satisfaction, satisfaction, we're even going to throw in a t-shirt. And we know how you internet folks love your t-shirts. So think about it. And you know what? You might even get a thank you video from yours truly. Huh? Speaking of thank you video, I want to thank our donors. Well, Specifically, we only have one lately, but you know what? Here's to you. Because of your donation, Michelle and Ben have been able to fund partially a whole episode of their new 10-part web series that they're writing. Now, I can't say too much about it, but let's just say that it includes adorable, an adorable killer robot, um, romance, office politics, and both. How's that for you? Does that tingle you? You want more? Well, you're going to have to wait. And you know what? You won't have to wait too much longer if you donate. Internet is free. Well, the internet itself isn't free, but YouTube's free for now. For now. But it does cost money to make such hilarious videos that you're enjoying on Kill9. So just go to our donate page on kill9studios.com or donate at the front of our YouTube channel. I want to read a special letter from um, our our generous donor. Uh, his name is, he goes by the, mo the name Halo Montage 117. His letter that came with the uh, envelope full of cash went like this. Dear Kill9 Studios, hello everyone, my name is Name Withheld. I'm donating this money to you and I'm also writing this to tell you why I put a lot of blank paper in the envelope. I put some blank paper in the envelope to make sure that no one can see through the envelope and see the money. This is my first donation, so I wanted to make it to its destination without any pesky postal workers trying to steal what is rightfully yours. You guys worked hard for this and you deserve it. Love, Halo Montage 117. P.S. He is real pizza. Mm hmm. Well, thanks, Halo Montage 117. <laughs> And remember, guys, you too can donate. Just a dollar. I mean, if we had a dollar for every person who watched this video, we'd have almost a million dollars. So send us a dollar. <laughs> All right, let's get on to the fun stuff. I want to talk to you guys about some of the nice comments that you've been leaving and clear up some of the controversy that has seems to be plaguing all of you on uh, the Boomer's Day Off comments on YouTube. First of all, I am this fat. And you know what? I'm proud of it. It's taken me almost 30 years to get this large. And you know what? Suck it, you guys who don't, don't, uh, don't want me uh, to uh, be fat. But thank you for your concern. Anyway, so it's not prosthetics. This is me. This is me. And I'm not wearing any pants, but I would stand up and show you that the belly's me too. Um, for those of you concerned about my genitalia, um, yeah, I can see it. I don't know why you keep asking. Um, though thanks to the super sexy ladies or men with ladies' names who think that uh, I'm attractive. I think you're attracted too. In fact, I do want to thank uh, TK Play that pa Palais One, 
who uh, wrote this, I whacked off to the larger man. Thank you. Um, some of the other things that people are wondering is what was in the vomit slash sandwich. Um, it was a lot of oatmeal and green food coloring and just basic disgusting thing. Actually, I do want to mention this. Someone asked if I had actually eaten the sandwich, and our esteemed director slash producer slash writer slash all-time queen of, queen of a Kill 9 TV, Michelle, wrote back that I had actually eaten the sandwich. I want to say that that's an error. I actually did not eat it. I put it in my mouth, and I chewed for the camera, um, but once it was out, it did go out of my mouth. I did not swallow it. Um, someone asked a question, uh, super has d d d d d d d asked, how does so much vomit come out of his mouth? Um, I wish that I could tell you that it was magic of cameras, but I have an extremely large mouth. So I put a lot of it in there. Gold Atra 3 asked, I wonder if this guy can see his own feats. Yes, I can. Thank you. I do also want to say a couple things here. Um, I love this comment. Corrosive One said, uh, <laughs> That's right, I actually puked in front of my girlfriend at Valentine's Day 2009 two times inside a bus. And we've been together like half a month back then, so it was really romantic, I can say. We're going, we're still doing great right now. Awesome, vid, by the way. I don't know what ha that has to do with our video, but you know what? Awesome. I have to say, if you guys are still together after you puked on her twice on a bus, that's real love. It's kind of like, it reminds me of the time my girlfriend first farted in front of me. It was so cute and adorable. And I knew that we would be together forever. Um, anyway, moving on, uh, Ho S777 asked, well, I'm wondering what your neighbors were thinking as you ran out of that house with that makeup on and a half shirt and green puke everywhere with some crazy girl shrieking behind you, ha, ha, ha. Well, that wasn't my place. I was uh, just the actor that it was actually Michelle's place. But uh, if I remember right, there was actually, uh, her neighbors did come and watch some of it. In fact, her next door neighbor and his kid um, hung out and watched too because his kid was actually a fan of Left 4 Dead and got right away what we were doing. So that was pretty cool. And I don't think, I don't think they cared all that much considering they let us film there like five times. Um, but, you know, I'm sure that they were wondering why a fat man was walking around in a half shirt and his pants falling off. Um, I think it's Captain Slinky says, all the witch ever wanted was a hug, so I hugged her with my bullets. I don't know what that means, but it sounds beautiful. He, he actually wrote a couple things. I think it was on uh, episode two. So if you guys want to treat yourselves to some of this guy's Captain Slinky's haikus, go check him out. It's pretty awesome. I think that's all the ones that I have for you. I know that um, Tim the guy who played Todd the Hunter, and uh, Ben, the other Ben who played Smoker, I think it was Gary the Smoker, um, are going to be putting something up soon. And you guys should enjoy that probably a lot more than you've enjoyed this, because I seem to find myself rambling. So I guess I'm going to wrap this up. I just want to say that uh, uh, please remember to subscribe to the Kill 9 channel. And uh, follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash kill9tv. I know that Ben, uh, that ben Pad and Michelle Osorio are always posting really funny things. So keep, uh, keep in contact with them. Um, and also, just please, feel free to keep writing those comments. Send us any kind of emails you want. Michelle is always reading them. And uh, she sends them off to us. And I've gotten a few from her that... You guys are awesome, so really great to have such good and loyal fans, as well as vocal fans as you guys are. Even the ones who seem to hate everything about us, but still feel the need to write. 
Thank you. And uh, just also so you know, if you write anything that's a little bit uh, trolly, Michelle has no problem laying the smack on. So just remember, if you're going to go there, bring it. Um, finally, I just want to let you guys know, if you want to see more of me, um, I might be making a special appearance in an upcoming Kill 9. I don't know. That's uh, still yet to be seen. But you can always catch me at uh, Geekscape. It's a podcast that I do every once in a while, and I'm always on the forums over there. Uh, if you like movies, video games, comic books, please come check us out, geekscape.net. Check out our new site. And um, just feel free to uh, drop Michelle a line, and she'll pass it on to me. Anyway, it was great talking to you folks, and uh, hope to see you soon. And I am real pizza. <laughs>